So I have another random thought, right? So I was thinking, and I'm going to tell you where it came from. So I was checking my um, messenger and somebody sent me a message about something about last days or something, which let me say, please stop sending me that stuff. I don't believe in that. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know, we're not living in our last days. Like, first of all, in 2012, yeah, we were living in the last days of the Iron Age. 2012, we crossed over. We're living in new days. These are new days, unlike any other days that we've had before. Things are not getting worse. <laughs> Things are getting better. I am a witch. I cannot be burned in the street, which clearly means... Things are getting better. We are definitely on a come up. And the notion that things are getting worse or that we're living in our last days, it's kind of like old fables being passed down from person to person. Nobody has any proof of this shit. Nobody can really pinpoint any particular incident that shows that things are getting worse. You know, so if you don't like what you're looking at, maybe you should change the channel. Everything in your reality is a reflection of your vibration. So if all you see around you is a bunch of sadness and misery and hunger and death, that's because you pull that into your vibration. This is how there are people who can be completely oblivious to shit that's going on because they don't focus their attention on that. So they don't pull that into their experience of reality. And this is how two people can be on the same bus and have two totally different stories for you because it depends on what those two people on that same bus are paying attention to. You understand what I mean? So stop listening to people telling you <laughs> that we living in our last days. No, we're not. They've been saying that since like the freaking thirties. Like when would the last day be again? And the world is not getting worse. It is far, far much better than it used to be. Like, we don't have big ass pots to boil people in. You know, like, this is how you know who knows history, real world history, not 11th grade <laughs> American history. No, I'm talking about really know the history of the shit that has taken place on this planet and know what's really happening right now on this planet. Only then can you have a real perspective of the condition of the world. Stop letting people feed you their negativity. Reject it and stand firm in your rejection of it. Don't ingest that, honey, because that should make your stomach hurt.